Welcome. This video describes the new probing cycle functions, now available in Esprit Release 4.1. Probing in Esprit lets you quickly and easily create probe cycles in milling and turning machines for workpiece detection to probe the workpiece and establish the datum points and to dynamically update work offsets, on machine inspection to achieve consistent and accurate measurements and eliminate manual measurement errors, Misload detection to confirm that the part is loaded correctly and to verify work holding. And dynamic tool offsets for programs that automatically adapt to tool wear and to machine critical part features to exact tolerances. In this example, we will program a series of probing operations to establish the work offset and validate that critical part features have been accurately machined. To complete the work offset creation portion, we will program a web pocket measuring cycle to set the Y offset in the center of our stock, a single point measuring cycle for Z and a web pocket measuring cycle for X have already been programmed. To program a probing cycle, first make sure that the tool setup includes a probe tool. Then select probing from the turning or milling tab on the ribbon menu. Name the cycle, select the probe, and set a feed rate in the general tab. On the strategy tab, select the faces to probe. Note that as faces are selected, the probe cycle type automatically changes to an appropriate cycle. The selection point is the final probe touch point. You can edit the XYZ positions of the touch point to, for example, use round numbers to make the NC code easier to read. Select the probe reference accordingly, part or stock. If stock, the system references the in-process workpiece. Next, define the other cycle parameters. The lateral distance defines how far the probe moves laterally to the expected touch point. These parameters vary by cycle type. Esprit's dynamic user interface shows you only the relevant options. The advanced tab contains options to further define the cycle. In this case, the over-travel distance is set to 0.5 inches. This parameter defines the distance the probe can travel beyond the expected touch point as it searches for the part. To apply the result of the probe cycle to the work offset position, update work offset is set to G54. In the text tab, enter any raw G code to follow the probing operation, such as logical conditional statements, go-tos, other logic, and so on. Click OK to create the cycle. Use toolpath analysis or full kinematic simulation to confirm the effectiveness of the measuring cycle and to visualize the probe's touch points in relation to the geometry. Next, we will define a part inspection probe operation at the end of this program to check the diameter of this side hole. Select an appropriate work plane for the feature. Like any other subtractive toolpath strategy, the Z vector of the work plane must be parallel with the desired part feature. Again, select probing from the turning or milling tab in the ribbon menu. This time, the hole is selected as the face to probe. Notice that Esprit automatically changes the probe cycle type to bore boss as a result of this selection. Further, a four point cycle is selected with reference to the part. A three point cycle is also available, which provides further options to define the angles between touch points. Because this is an inspection cycle, there is no work offset to update. The advanced tab has a set of accuracy options to define parameters such as the dimensional tolerance of the feature itself and the feature's position, as well as the effect, if any, of the probe cycle on the related tool offset. In the resulting probe cycle, the probe enters the hole and probes the diameter in one direction and then the other. Thank you for watching this Esprit product feature video. For more information about this and other new features in Esprit, Refer to the release bulletin and product help.